The Moai Statues of Easter Island Easter Island, home to the Moai, is located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and is part of Chile. It is a relatively small island, only 163.6 square kilometers in total area. It is home to 5,806 people as of 2008. There used to be more people on the island, natives called Rapa Nui, but slave raids and diseases brought over by Europeans killed off most of them. The first European explorer to discover the island was a Dutch explorer named Jacob Ragavin, and he discovered it on Easter Sunday. He named the island Pasch Island, which was the Dutch phrase for Easter Island. The island's current name, Isla de Pascua, also means Easter Island in Spanish. The native people that had lived there probably called the island one of two names, either Rapa Nui or Tepito Tehenwa. The former is probably correct, but some people think that the island might not have been given a name by the early inhabitants. The early people that lived there had most likely come there from Polynesia and ate yams and fished. Easter Island is mostly known for its mysterious statues depicting humanoids that were built by natives around 300 to 1,200 Common Era and have remained there for hundreds of years. They are a huge tourist destination and still fascinate many people. However, some of the statues were destroyed by raiders or Europeans that found the island. There are in total 887 statues that were completed and now stand upright, some that were not completed, and some that have fallen down. All the statues, for some unknown reason, have oversized heads. Some statues might also have had obsidian or red scoria for eyes, but pirates most likely stole that. The statues were built from solid rock and most weigh over 60 tons. The heaviest one weighs around 86 tons, and one that was not finished, if had been finished, would have weighed 270 tons. At those weights, it's no wonder that the statues are amazing. It definitely took more than 100 people to raise one statue, and if it fell over, there would be no way to get it back up. In fact, some Moai have been found lying on the ground due to people abandoning them after they fell down. Nobody quite knows how the ancient people dragged the Moai to their places. It was thought to have been done by walking the Moai, the process demonstrated in the video right now. Scientists have succeeded in moving the statues more than 100 yards. However, the scientists did not manage to explain how the statues were moved uphill. They might have been moved uphill using the same technique as the walking of the statues, but the ropes might have been placed a little lower on the statues. There are also some statues located underwater probably due to them being abandoned since hard rock, which the Rapa Nui could not chip off, was found inside. Both the statues underwater and above water have eroded only a little bit because they were made of solid rock. But some of the statues underwater have become homes for coral. Thank you for watching this documentary and subscribe for more cool videos.